Hey everybody. First of all, I have to make one quick, um, okay, yes, Vicky. <laughs> I have to make one quick point. I don't know how you can get bedhead when your hair is cut to a number five with a razor. It, it really baffles me. But I'm just doing a quick makeup review um, with Essence Stay Natural Concealer. And I think Ziggy's going to come and help me do this video. No, she's not. She's on my way now. Um, she, it's like whenever I start talking, she's just decided to play with her loudest toys of all. I don't know if you can hear it, but I can because it's putting me off. But anyway, it, this is um, Soft Nude. It's literally the palest colour they had, um, which... I would always need to get, as you can see, I'm very, very pale, <laughs> naturally, just how I am, um, because there's like barely any sunlight in Ireland, but anyway, as you can see, it's like a felt tip at the top, and, um, sorry, I was messing around with some makeup earlier, and you just literally draw on your skin, and what you do with this end is, I won't twist it now because it will come shooting at the top. I uh, didn't mean that to sound like an innuendo of any kind, but you just twist this and you'll hear a clicking sound. And um, it literally, I'd say there's some kind of mechanism in here that pushes the liquid um, concealer up through the top here and you put it where you want to cover up, you know, blemishes, uh, dark circles under your eyes, you know, places like that. Well, I have used it a couple of times now and more than a couple of times and um, I've decided that I'm going to give it a review and I'm going to give it a out of five um, I'd say I'd give it a one um, and the thing is I'm really disappointed with that because like I, I have used essences is sold in Penny's aka Primark. Um it's called Penny's over here in Ireland. Um I used to live in England so like, you know, when I came over here I was like, Oh, Penny's, that looks like Primark and then uh, my mum's like, Yeah, they just changed the name and I was like, Okay, that's a bit weird. But um they've recently started selling makeup in Penny's aka Primark and the essence stuff I bought a lot of their nail varnishes and even bought my nan some of their makeup and um, their foundation, their mousse foundation because it's actually it just fits their skin better because it's obviously got a lot of wrinkles. Um sorry nan and um she hates talking me talking about her wrinkles or she hates talking about the wrinkles herself. But um their makeup is very, very good. So I usually use Coastal Scents um, concealer, their concealer palette. I really, really like it. It blends in really well with the foundation and then when you put a setting powder over it, you can't see it. But I went out with this and it doesn't blend well at all. Um, you're putting it on, I mean, you turn it a few times and loads of it, either loads of it comes out or barely any of bar barely any at all comes out. And then you're blending it and blending it and blend trying to blend it and blend it and blend it, then you're trying to use your finger to blend it, which I I'm very I'm a stickler for using fingers with makeup. I know other people don't, but it's just something my mother drilled into me. Don't put your fingers near your eyes, don't put your fingers in you know, because your hands are covered in germs. And um so I don't like using my finger to blend like makeup or anything like that and um, so I was finding I was using my finger and I was like oh this is no uh, no uh, 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 uh. and it was not blending into my foundation at all and then when I put the powder over it you could clearly see where the concealer was and um, so it wasn't concealing anything it was concealing the blemishes and things like that and but you could see 
where the concealer was compared to the foundation and the feather and look it looked awful. It looked really, really bad. You can see these splodges over my face. And I've used other liquid concealers and not had that trouble um before. So I'm only giving it a two because to be honest, I think a two is actually really generous. I think I'm just gonna give it a one because um if you're what I'm giving it a a one because um if you're stuck, if you have a, a budget, like this was only two forty nine, which is really really cheap compared to any concealer I've ever bought in my whole life, and um, even the Coastal pa Coastal Scents palette that I bought, like that was five euro, but there's a load of different concealers in that palette, so even that was cheaper than this, and. Um, you know, it's handy, you can just pop it in your purse and stuff like that, but for blending wise and stuff like that, you, you would not want to use this on a daily basis because unless you're, unless, I don't know, unless you're wearing dark foundation than I do or, I don't know, but it's not, it's not great at all, it's absolutely abysmal, like, um, I had a few of my friends try it who wear a darker foundation than me and even on them they were like um, oh gosh no this is awful and um, yeah so this gets a one purely based on uh, money <laughs> it, it actually just boils down to that um, if you're a student or you know you're young and you're just getting a bit of pocket money from your parents or you have a part time job um, it's just purely based on that. It's just um yeah. So it's not great. And I have to go now because the cat's going mental. <laughs> Alright. I hope you enjoyed that and I will do be doing other product reviews in the future. Okay. Bye.